It's Sam I am. How is everybody? I myself, I'm fantabulistic. Super excited to be here with you to do another project. So what are we gonna do today? Well, I've been thinking and I've been thinking there's a lot I wanna do, especially since I have a party coming up this Sunday. There's a lot of things that I just wanna have ready so people have a choice. But I've been thinking and I've been thinking since now I am a Let's Resin resin user. Since I have it, I would like to try one of the 3D blooms that I have never been able to really get. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it in this pretty live edge mold that I have. And I am going to use these fabulous colors. Are you ready? Okay, first I'm going to use, this is so pretty, I'm going to open it over here. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, wait, this is from Dianca Pores. I know you really can't see it, but it's like a blue purple. And it is called, hold on, I'm gonna tell you, uh, Prism. Prism from Dianca Pores. I'll link her down below. I don't know how I found her, but I'm glad I did. She's got some pretty colors, which, you know, a lot of people do. It's hard. How do you choose the colors you want? Okay, this is Dark Oob from Eye Candy. Again, a dark purple. Then I have, oh my goodness, Azuki Iro Red. And it's that color. I think it's gonna go really good with those dark colors. And then I have Amaterasu Silver from Eye Candy. What I'm gonna do is back those colors with this and I'm going around the side with this because remember, this will be the live edge on the other side. So it'll be like it's coming around. And um, then I'm going to do the bloom with the top cell white, Passion Top Cell White from Color Passion. I'm putting a drop of the black resin pigment, so this will kind of be a gray. I have already mixed up my resin, so that's over here uh, getting this bubble on, or off. <laughs> and oh, in the middle, I'm going to do the mirror with the black, uh, this. Yeah, I'm going to do that in the middle. So what do you think? Sound good? All right, there's only one thing left to do. Let's get this pouring party started. Yeah, okay, here we go. Sip my drink. All right, first things first, we need to, where's that cool little dusting? I had an awesome brush. I don't know what happened to it. I think the brush fairy came and took it. Or the brush napper. It was really cool. I don't know where I got it either, but guess what? I guess this one will have to be just as cool. I have to get me some new makeup brushes. Yes, I will. All right, so here we go. I gotta do this, then I get my clear down, and then um, I guess it's been five minutes. I'm supposed to wait, aren't I? Let's see. It's pretty thick. See, I never knew how thin my resin was that I usually use until I got this. I don't have to worry about the bottom because we are going to be doing the bottom. Oh, I do need to worry about the bottom. Yeah. I do, I do. So feel free to Fast forward any part that you think you would want to miss, but you better come right back. Yes, indeed. You don't know what you're gonna miss. And do what else you got to do. You came here for a reason. And you know why you're sitting here watching me do this? You know what you could do? You could go ahead and subscribe. Cause I have some wonderful people who have already subscribed and they are joys of my life. They bring me J-O-Y, and I love it. I love each and every one of you who has taken the time to subscribe to my little old channel to help me out because you just have no idea. If, unless you have a YouTube channel, you don't really realize and know how much those likes and some <laughs> likes, subscribes, and comments, anything that you do to give my channel attention is so appreciated because, it, like I said, you don't know how much it really helps the content creators. And I want to be able to keep coming back with content for you guys. 
but you know that would be helpful with some revenue and once you hit a certain number and you keep going that's easier to achieve without having to come out of pocket and you know my pockets are little so unfortunately I'm disabled so I, I am asking for the kindness of you guys just like and subscribe that's all I need I mean of course there's other things you can do if you want but right now let's take care of the basics keep it simple silly kiss the other day if you watched I said keep it simple stupid which is what I learned in school I'm kind of ironic it was a long time ago though people is different back then y'all know that when we went to school well most of y'all uh, the demographics say most of y'all are my age so things were a lot different in school that was before the internet and cell phones <laughs> i was listening to um uh i can't think of his name the dude that's on um the talk the dark skin one not jerry but the other dude i can't think of his name but he was asking his kid what if he knew what these certain things were. And I can't remember any of them other than the fax machine. And he said, yeah, it's a machine that tells you the truth. I started cracking up like it's an encyclopedia or something. And yeah, his dad, needless to say, was pretty thinking that was pretty funny. I wish I could think of some of the other things that, you know, our youth just doesn't have any idea about. Okay, so I got that off the bottom. But from experience, I know that if I just leave it where I just did that baby wipe, it's going to have smear marks. So I'm taking my paper towel, which is a good brand, so it's not leaving lint, and I'm going around everywhere I wiped with that baby wipe. So it doesn't leave smears. I'll get mine out that I did last time that you could see the smears on it. Yeah, it looked terrible which made me sad. It did. You know, you do all that work and then you got some smear marks on it. This is just a little microfiber towel cloth. I ordered a bunch of these from Amazon, of course. I don't buy anything much other places, that's for sure. Okay, so I think that's good. Now, let's pour some in the bottom and then I'll mix it up. Go ahead and pour this in there. Oh, I should have put the glass in. All right, we'll let that go, right? Let's see, let me put some in the cups. Oh, and I'm not piping it. I'm like gonna do with the cup. Oh, I need to pipe the white. Yeah, I do need to pipe the white. All right, so I need three, four. I'm sorry if y'all can't see them here. I'm just pouring. No, nothing fancy. Two. I hope I don't have enough resin. Three. And then four. It's going to be tight, y'all. It's going to be tight. I could cut a color out, I guess. I want all the colors, though. I think I need more. Why didn't I, y'all? Why didn't y'all tell me to? Alright. I'm going to melt that one dry. All right, so we got the the red, whatever the heck that is, the dark oob, and the prism, and the white. All right, this could be thicker, but it's not. So we're gonna roll with what we got, right? We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to put the glass in the middle. Put that right there for now. 
All right, let me get a little spoon. I had some big spoons. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, no, that's not one. There's one. Yay! There's a lunch spoon or something. Cereal. And we'll put it kind of like that. Cool? I think that's perfect. Just maybe a little bit more. There. This out of the way. Uh, let me take this little handy dandy tool and kind of blend that down in there. Okay. This should be good. Does that look good, y'all? Center? Mm. Let me go this way a little bit. Oh, no. I'll just make it. Okay. There we go. All right, let's mix up our colors. And I always do this a different way, but because I had to pour it like this, we have to do it like this. Normally, I put in a little bit of resin. I mean, a little bit of mica, and then I add my, mm, put my mica in. Then I put a little bit of resin in. Mix that up, make a paste, and then I put in the rest of my resin, and it's all mixed up. All right, there we go. A little bit of, and it's better chance of not having any floating mica. That's my point. Wow. And I put in less is more. I'm trying to utilize my colors better instead of thinking I need a ton from the get-go. I only need some more. I need more. I like this color. I think the dark colors would look good. Hey, they're not blue. Y'all know I do a lot of blue. I said, I gotta think of something besides blue. All right. I mean, that's kind of blue, but I think it's more on the purple side. That's what I'm going with. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, so we got that one done. Now we're gonna do dark oob. Oh, wait a minute. Why do I got three colors? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. I needed five, so I'm gonna have to go up. Uh -oh. I'm not gonna be able to do dark oob. I'm gonna have to do this one. Cause I need, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I do got enough. I am so silly. Let's see. One, two, three, four. <sighs> It is 6 o'clock in the morning. Let me remind y'all. I don't know what sleep is on a regular schedule anymore. It's okay, though. Spending my free time with y'all. Just... I'm keeping it over there to stir it away from here where the... Micah won't fly. Look at that color. Did the dark oob. No, wait a minute. <gasps> that was the red? Uh oh. No. Which one was that? Uh oh. <laughs> Which one was that, y'all? I can't rewind the tape and look. Let me see. Let me see. That color is an awful lot like that color. See, look. Hmm. Um, oh, let's see what happens. I'm going to do it anyway. As for the white, I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, 
gosh, y'all, I think that's the same color. Let me see. Is it? <laughs> I would think that sometimes. No, that's not. It's a different color. But all these colors are sure pretty close together. Oh, well, so I don't think I'm going to make it gray. I think I'm just going to leave the white white. Because that will tone these colors down. All right, so they're all different. Pretty. I need to put some more in that though. Hmm. It's still not quite opaque enough. Whoa. Heck, this will be beautiful, won't it? I'm just liking these darker colors. Okay, dope. Now we shall do our um, white. And I was kind of thinking I'm going to put a little bit, just a little bit of the Max White Sparkle. Okie doke. Okie doke. I had open. Oh, no, I know where the other one is. You want to mix your product. This stuff is like taffy, y'all. And you need like nothing. Nothing on your stick. Like wipe it all off. Everything. Because you want this as little as possible in there. So see all that stuck? Little bit stuck? That's what I'm putting in my wipe. That's it. That's probably too much there. Let me grab another stick before I let use all that. Whoa. You don't need it. You want it like milky white. You want to still be able to see your stick. I need just a little bit more. So I'm going to take this stick that I had. Mix it in there some more. Now, let's see what happens. Stuff is highly concentrated, and if it's too much, it'll be too heavy, and it'll just sink. Believe me, I know that. I've got a lot of experience with sink. <laughs> this looks perfect. All right, so just uh, put this on. Without making a mess, I was going to put my gloves on and I didn't do that, so I will do that real quick. Let me do that real quick. If you're uh, one of my OGs, then you know I'm terrible about remembering my gloves and you really, really need to wear your gloves. I'm just, I had them, was getting ready to put them on before we started and I was like, no, I'll wait because my hands get sweaty. And then I forgot. Now it's hard to get on. So we just have to put a little oomph into it. Alright. So I'm going to put in a little bit of the Max Sparkle White. Just a little bit. Because again, it, the glitter will take over. I'm going to do this over here. Because look, it will fly away. Just a tad. You know what a tad is? It's somewhere between itty bitty and teensy weensy amount. And I just mix that in there. I think I am gonna pipe this, y'all. I think it'll just be prettier. So let me get my piping bag. Sorry, I'm not ready. But it'll only take a moment, though, if you don't mind waiting for me. It will be worth the wait, I think. Just put the piping bag in a cup. Turn it inside out. 
and you pour your white in. You just have more control over it like this. And I see some white in there and it mix up. Hopefully it will do it in the piping bag. And I see some kind of really crazy ways people put the white in to get the flower, the bloom. So I kind of have a kind of, I don't know if anybody's done it. I, it doesn't matter to me because this is what I'm going to do today. Kind of something, something, something. And we'll see what happens. I just want something to bloom. I don't care what the petals look like. I don't care what color ends up on top, on the bottom, on the sides. As long as the daggone thing blooms for me. That's all that matters. That's all I care about. I mean, and hopefully some enjoyment that we get. And a couple subscribers and a couple comments. That makes me happy. Okay. So, look at these dark colors. There's not much difference in them, is there? Oh, well. It's really hard these days. That's why I used the number generator for a long time because I had such a hard time um, choosing colors. It just made it easier. All right, so let me do this gently or carefully because the silicone is right there. Okay, but that'll get rid of bubbles. Some people use alcohol. I don't. Okay, so I'll put the weight over here. I don't know if that's thick enough. I almost think I need to wait. I am. I'm going to wait. I'll come back to you in just a few minutes. This has got to warm up some more. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I would say all in all, it's been like 30 minutes since. But the thing of it is, is let's resin is already thick. But it was cool in my garage, art room, whatever. So I put it on the resin curing plate for like 10 minutes to warm it up, which then thinned it. So the time that I've worked with it while we were mixing colors, the time I was away, has been about 30 minutes, maybe 35. I believe this is warm enough. This is thick. I've never worked with Let's Resin trying to do a bloom, so I'm kind of at a disadvantage. Do I go? Do I wait? Ah, this is thick. So going by this, it was the same time, and it's thin, where this is together, and you know it's normally, when it's deeper, then it uh, cures quicker, it heats up quicker. So that's my thought. That's what I'm going with. We're gonna do it, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna do our colors and I'm going around and around and around. Where it stops, nobody knows. Okay, here we go. Well, let's hope this works, y'all. Right? Right? Kind of a blobby there these over here right now. I really like these colors. Now you'll get to see how close they are. Oh well. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Don't make it something it isn't. Right? Right. See how close they are? Maybe when they're cured and they've bloomed, we'll be able to see a big difference. <laughs> oh, I tried to run off the side like everybody else does looking cool. Oh, I just made a mess. I don't like the mess. I think I'd rather look not cool. <laughs> All right, so now there's the other one that looks really close. <laughs> Okay. Mm. That one you can see the difference, huh? Oh, 
All right. Now, we are going to take the white and I'm going to clip off just a smidge. Just a little teeny tiny smidge. That's just about a little bit. A teensy weensy small amount is a smidge. Okay? Okay. As long as we're clear on that. And you really just want to take, I mean, take off less because less is more. You could take off more, but you can't put it back on once you take it off, right? You don't want to have to get another piping bag and all that. So here I go. And look, let's see. I'm going to need a paper towel. Let's see. Nope, not enough. So I'm going to take another smidge off. I can't do whatever the thing, so y'all just have to believe me. <laughs> I shall not tell a lie. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stand up. My thought is, is I'm going to go round, 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 round. Then I'm going to do dots in the middle. What do you think? Let's try it. Why not, right? Oh, I should have gone the other way. Oh, well. This is my flower. This is how I roll. I'm not doing very good. What happened? All right. All right, so why don't I come around and go like this. Going all the way up without hitting the mold because that'll keep it from blooming. If it's going to bloom, I have high hopes, but you know, might not happen. I hope this does something. Okay, dots. I really hope this works, because otherwise it's going to be quite ugly. I don't know if I'm, you know, since Let's Resin does really well with blooms for people, I don't know that it started off with a, you know, being warmed up. That might keep it from doing what it should do or what you want it to do, right? I need to bring my resin in. It's time to bring it in the house. Instead of letting it stay overnight in the gar garage. All right, y'all. I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna shrink to the middle. So, actually I am, no. it up some more. It looks like I'm gonna have enough to do something else, so I need to go find something before this resin gets gone. And move y'all. Well, y'all don't have to see what else I'll do. I'll show it y'all. I'll show y'all. I 
I like the purples. I do, I do. I don't see much blooming going on though. That's not very good. All right, just a little bit of heat because you don't want to, I need my, hold on, let me get the blazer or the thing. The heat gun, not the blow dryer. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna unplug. Here we go. Sorry guys, I had it plugged in over at the other area. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. A little bit of heat. You don't want much though, because you don't wanna you just waited for that resin to thicken up, so you don't want it thin. It is not blooming, y'all. All right. That's all I can do, guys. Fingers crossed. I'm going to put a little blooming dance on it. Bloom, 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 bloom. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll be back. Hey, guys. I'm back. I am. I've kind of let my resin get a little too warm. So I am mixing it, I did it without you, but hey, I'm just mixing in some of the um, Emma Terusa Silver, something like that, from Eye Candy. Now, I really don't have too high hopes of this because, huh, it, I thought it needed some, or I thought it was finished blooming or whatever it was doing. So I decided I was gonna put it on the resin curing plate. Well, you know, that heated up the resin and you see what we got. So, I don't know. The colors look great. I don't know what we're going to end up with. But, hey, we've come this far. We just got to keep on going. So, I've mixed it up. Um, this was like 14 ounces, I think. Because I took some out for another project. I just have too much going on. And I shouldn't. You know what I mean? No need in it. Here we go. Come on, baby. Let it just find its way to the sides. Is we dusted the sides with the same silver. So it should look fabulous. All matching. It's not quite, it's still a little tacky. So I don't want to hit my stick on it. And make it not be pretty. I think it's going to take all of this. Which is really cool. I love it when that works out. You know, there's always something that can be put in, but you know, you feel cool when you get it right on the button. <laughs> Just push this up to the sides, but not touching the bottom. Slowly add a little more in there. You want it full without overflowing. I think that's just about perfect. I'd say I got about two ounces left. So I could have gotten away with 12. So ultimately, I think this ends up being 20 ounces. Because I think, I don't know, I'll have to look. I don't remember how much I started off with. But I got that much left of this. I'll find something to do with it. Right now, I've got that in there. Let's put a little bit of fire on it quickly and efficiently with your torch so you don't burn your resin or your mold. 
Okay, so I'm gonna let this do some curing and then I'll put it on the resin curing plate to let it finish. And then when I come back, we'll be ready to demold. Hopefully our beautiful bloom with the nice, dark, sexy purples. I'll be back. All right, my friends, I'm back. I have our piece that's, <laughs> it's bendy. I'm gonna tell you, I've recently been using another resin than what I normally use. Um, um, I thought I just needed to get used to it. I'm just going to say I'm going to go back to my old resin. It's just what I like. It's very different than what I've been using recently. And I'm not knocking it. It's just not for me. So I'm going to switch back. It cures quicker. It's thinner. It just, I can use it thin if I need to, and I can use it thick if I need to. So it's just, just something that I, that I'm going to do. That's all. That's it. So right now, we are going to uh, break this out of the mold. It's bendy on the ends. I've cured it on the resin curing plate for all day, I think. <laughs> no, I don't know. A long time. It's just taking a long time. But anyway, we are going to take it out. It's good enough to take out, and then I'll let it cure the rest of the way. Let's hope we got a bloom. That's all I want to see. Please, some kind of bloom, please. Help, help me. Right, right. Something beautiful. Please don't be a big blobby mess. I'm gonna have. I got flashing around here, so I'll take my little, um, either the deburring tool or my little um, knife that Miss Beverly gave me. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Ready? Oh, ready? <gasps> Bam! Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I, I thought I had better high hopes for this. So, um, I don't know. That's what we got. The colors are beautiful. That's what I can say. This is the second time I've done this mold and I didn't like the results. I mean, the colors are beautiful, but they didn't bloom. I, it, like I said, I'm not used to this resin. It was already, it's already thick to get to the begin with. So I, I just, I thought I just needed to get used to it. It's just not for me. So that's okay. This is another one for the history books. We tried, we gave it our best. That's all we can do. So, I am going to say a little bit of business. Down in the description, you will see the three contests that I have going on. I've, you know, been running through the details, but I'm just going to save some time and say, please check out the description. There's some cool contests going on, and I'd like for you to get in on the action. It will help you, and it will help me. So, help me help you. Let's do it. Let's be a team about it. Um, I have a birthday club. Check that out. I have lots of affiliate links with coupon codes, so check those out. They're down in the description as well. I will link the colors that I used, or I will list the colors that I used and link what I can. So for now, I am going to say, I love you, mean it. Be good or good at it. See ya. Bye.